Hello everyone, welcome back to The Dan Show, and as always, I'm your silhouetted host, Dan Owen. Uh, I have to start right off the bat by apologizing, because while going back and fiddling with items and everything, I accidentally saved over a cutscene that usually happens right here. Uh, it's a conversation with Sans, and he tells you that um, the EXP in the game stands for Execution Points, and it depends on how many people you've killed. And uh, L-O-V-E, love, is just another acronym for um, level of violence. So that it's, it's like, not really important, but you're just like, oh, shit, like, from an RPG perspective, what you considered to be one thing has actually been something different all along. It only really comes into play when you're doing the genocide run, because that's where the last boss is, because he's like, you murdered everyone I know. So uh, let's let's just get into the, the Asgore fight then. Dum-de-dum. Uh, oh? Is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. What a nice guy. What a chap. Here we are. Howdy. How can I... <gasps> He's like, fuck. Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. He's so nice, though! I don't want to kill him! Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do? Play some catch. Just fuck everything else. Just, we'll just toss around football. When you are ready, come into the next room. Naked. Because you know what needs to be done. Just keep throwing, like, really weird clues out there. Like, get the rope, the, the twister board, and then some butter. And, uh, I mean, you know, you know what we have to do otherwise. How tense. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. That's actually really ironic because my brother's at the dentist right now. <laughs> and all I got was a text of just, <laughs> this dentist appointment fucking sucks. So okay, this is gonna be a pretty average run-of-the-mill dentist appointment, I guess. Are you ready? I, I hope you're ready at home because I've been gearing up for this for a while. Uh, it's actually a pretty hard fight, so I'll, I'll be surprised if I can get this in one shot. If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. Oh, I'm ready. Yeah, we're at the end. Let's fucking get it on! This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any, any unfinished business, please do what you must. Fuck yeah, continue. Yeah, the reason I fucked up that cutscene is because I thought I had to go back and do something, but it's actually not until after this fight, and it's just... He sees, he knows, I, I hope you can understand. This is it, then. Ready? If I do a genocide run, I'll, I'll include it in that. Let me just rip your heart out of your fucking corpse! Oh, okay. Alright, this, this might be one of those that I might just shut up and let it happen. And focus. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems that my journey is finally over. <sighs> I'm filled with determination. Hell yeah, I am, baby. Let's fucking go. Human, it was nice to meet you. God, what, what a nice guy. It's just, ah, oh, it's tough. Goodbye. Oh, he is not playing around anymore. No mercy. All right. Oh. Alright, we're, we're fucking in it. Um, the only acts you can do are talk and, like, plea with him. Uh, in this fight, as weird as it is, we're actually gonna be attacking. And not do any damage at all, but we have, um... Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> does the defense really help? Does it? Because if we're only doing 88 damage, I mean, it's gonna take a while for this to, uh... I think I might have wanted to pick up that dagger, honestly. It's alright, if I eat shit entirely and, like, can't make it through this fight with the items I have, uh, then I will just go back and get that rusty dagger and start stabbing him. Oh! Okay. I should, um... So if I eat the pie... 
he, yes, his attack goes down and his defense goes down uh, because that's the pie that Toriel made. Okay, don't move, don't move. All right, so those um, twinkles in his eyes are the tells for that attack, showing you when to move, when to not. Okay, 20 more attack. That's not, like, super bad. Uh, if I do this, and then I do... Ah! Okay. Whew. All right, just gotta focus and get this done. This, this, not, this is not too bad, honestly. You just gotta wait for it to disappear in the middle and just keep going through the holes. Pretty cut and dry there. Like I said, this fight's honestly kind of... Uh, uh, <coughs> this fight's kind of hard. Um, but there is more, like I said, that is going to happen. And it's it's going to get a lot harder. Oh, come on, I was moving. What, what, come on. Come on, Asgore. Man, I might not even be able to get through this in one episode. Oh, okay, that was, that was just rough. Yep, yep, I'm just eating it. Jesus. Um... The apron will do me no good. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. I mean the Glam Burger, home of the Glam Burger. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, okay. Oh, man, really? Just really wishing that I had a better attack item for sure. <laughs> Whoop! Okay. Mmm. Mm-mm. It's moving all the time. Maybe I'll pull it out of my ass, though. We'll see. I mean, we're almost... Uh, <laughs> we're almost like a third of the way there. <sighs> okay. All right. All right. This isn't too bad, I don't think. God damn it. Oh, this is... I'm, I'm starting to get a, a feeling... A predictive feeling that I'm not going to make it through this first run, which I honestly kind of anticipated, so that's... that is okay. Come on now, come on. Might as well use all the items I have to see how far I can get with base damage, but I'm, I'm going to have to switch to that rusty knife for sure. It's the only fight where your attack actually matters, and uh, your defense really doesn't. Really? I mean, he's doing... at 20 health, like, he's going to be rocking my world pretty much on every hit, so... Uh. Okay, if I can just kind of dance around him down here, that's usually my strat, but it's just there's so much coming at you this fight. They really overwhelm you quite easily. Alright, so don't move, move, move. Duh. One more glam burger, right? I actually have to probably go and buy more items now that I think about it, because I won't need that apron once I'm done with that, and uh, yeah. It'll give me one more healing item, which is really going to matter. Like, it's really going to make a difference to get one more heal. Sometimes it just comes down to, do you have enough healing or not? Oh! Ooh, snuck by on that one. Why did I just do so much more damage there? Oh god, what was it? Wow, I'm actually really surprised that I got that. Oh! I've been hitting in the center, and I think that's the fucking the dingus way to do it! My whole world just got changed. 240? Am I just doing more damage over time? I, am I gonna get this? Oh my god! Now now that I think I might be able to get it, I'm kinda... Uh, I really don't wanna... <laughs> I don't wanna go back and try again. Alright, alright, alright. You know, the confidence is building. I'm slowly filling myself with determination. You know, I think I can do this, guys. And gals. I mean, uh, birds or whoever might be listening in. I don't know. Ooh. Right, I just gotta, I just gotta work around these swaying fire. Oh God, orbs. Oh no. Okay. This, that was risky to not heal one more time, but I. Oh. Yo. Yeah. That's crazy. I really did not expect to get that the first time. Oh, but now I'm sad because he's dying. Ah. Uh, so. That is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. Oh, here we go. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. 
I would use their souls to become the godlike, or become godlike, and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity. I mean, honestly, with how nice all these monsters have been, maybe Earth would be, would be better off. I don't know. And let the monsters rule the surface in peace. Yeah, yeah, it'd probably be better than the current state of affairs. Honestly, uh, soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. If it wasn't already kind of cut, like cut and dry, uh, Toriel was his wife. Truthfully, I think they mentioned that in the beginning. I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one, this war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Oh! I'll tell you what, we're going to decide what's going to happen next time on The Dan Show. And I, I hate to cut it off like that, but uh, there's there's good reason for it. So we'll, we'll see what happens with this shit next time on The Dan Show. And thanks for sticking around. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week with more Undertale. And take care, everyone. Have a good weekend.